I wanted to write a book about the Anders Army for years, for decades. O armii Andersa w czasach, kiedy chodziłem do szkoły, studiowałem, nie wolno było nic mówić. Pamięć o armii została dosyć skutecznie wymazana z podręczników historii. Trail of Hope recounts the compelling story of the escape of over 100,000 Polish citizens from the clutches of Stalinism. It is an incredible story of bravery and determination against all the odds that takes you on a journey throughout Europe. The mass of people who found themselves in the depths of the uh, Soviet Union. Some of them were prisoners of war. A much bigger number were people unjustly convicted for non-existent crimes and sent for penal labor to the, the Gulag. And between one and two million were deportees, people who were woken up in the middle of the night in their houses in eastern Poland, uh, driven into um, cattle trucks and taken off to Siberia, to Kazakhstan, to Uzbekistan. Stalin, for the first two years of the war, had been Hitler's partner. But in June 1941, Nazi Germans attacked the Soviet Union and Stalin, as a result, turned to the uh, Western Allies. This was the circumstance in which the Anders Army was formed. Władysław Anders was one of the most senior Polish officers who was captured by the Soviets. He was expecting to be taken out and shot at any time in the summer of 1941 and suddenly he was dragged out of the Lubyanka and told he was going to be a general of the Polish army in the Soviet Union. I think his greatest achievement was to be the shepherd of his flock of all these thousands of people. The Anders Trail is a very long one. It starts in Russia. It moves to Central Asia, to the Soviet republics of Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan and so on. From Iran they went to Iraq, from Iraq to Palestine, from Palestine to Egypt. They fought in the Italian campaign. At the end of the war, the soldiers of the Anders Army, their homes were no longer in Poland. The Kresy, the eastern part of Poland, was annexed by the Soviet Union. Do Anglii z Andersem przybyło ponad 200 tysięcy osób. The Polish people are part of the fabric of the UK um, in every town. And this book is terribly important for British people to understand how many of them arrived there. There are Polish communities deriving from the Anders Army in New Zealand, in South Africa, parts of Africa, India, Canada and Australia. Założyliśmy platformę internetową z prośbą, by ci, którzy coś wiedzą, coś mają, z pamiątek po armii Andersa przysyłali. Przysłano kilkaset zdjęć archiwalnych, dokumentów. Czasem ktoś dzień po dniu zapisywał, gdzie był, gdzie szedł, jaki był cel tej olbrzymiej epopei, jaką była armia Andersa. We want uh, people in Poland and in the UK to know much more about the government in exile because it was an important part of our history. The Anders Army began to operate through an agreement between General Sikorski as Prime Minister of the exile government and the Soviet authorities. The soldiers swore an oath to the the government in London. 2015 marks the 75th anniversary of the government in exile's relocation to London and the 25th anniversary of the conclusion of its activities. The embassy has initiated a promotional and educational campaign under the title Republic in Exile Rzeczpospolita Londyńska. 
I would like to invite you to follow this project online under the hashtag Republic in Exile and to find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube at Polish Embassy UK.